Okay, today's video is about Newton's third law of action, reaction. And I'm going to explain why a uh, rocket thruster, once you get into a deep tour of negative 17 decimal places, um, why a rocket will completely empty without um, giving out any thrust. Well, basically, um, you have to use your brain now. Um, imagine a ball of energy. Just a solid ball of energy. Now it expands. What happens to the space that was filled with energy? What happens when that ball of energy is expanded? All the energy is pulled into strings. And this is confirmed in the electric universe with suns on strings because that's how energy works. Energy forms a vortex finger, creates an Ouroboros uh, torus field, a Lorenz um, a Lorenz acceleration ring which then accelerates the energy and matter to the next point in space where another sun forms via an Ouroboros torus sphere and the energy shoots through it and uh, this is repeated until you get suns on a string and this is what happens when you pull a solid ball of energy apart it must string out the energy because energy wants to stay together due to electromagnetic fields and everything else. So if you pull this ball apart, so imagine a ball, a tennis ball-sized ball of energy in your hands, and you pulled your hands apart so the ball expanded. Space would be created within the ball of energy. This is the universe. And so the action is to pull energy apart. The reaction is to cause a vacuum where the energy was. So it doesn't matter how much thrust you have, the whole of the universe is a gravity well due to the fact that energy has been pulled apart. So energy tries to fill every single space in the universe. So the action of pulling apart the universe creates a reaction of having a vacuum that is trying to pull the energy back. The easiest example to give you is a syringe. If we plug up the bottom of a syringe after filling it halfway with liquid, we can now pull on the plunger upwards and we can create a vacuum within there. We can stretch everything. It will pull slightly and then it will stop because the energy is pulling with me pulling the energy. And so what is the reaction to me pull, pulling? It's trying to pull back. And that, of course, is action and reaction. Because if I take the plunger and let's say it was a mile long, I pulled it all the way to the end, what would happen to the liquid in that uh, tube? It would turn into gas. People say it would boil off. It's got nothing to do with boiling. It's the fact, fact that energy moves so far apart. Energy is trying to burst out of it. So it boils off. Those are the Ouroboros torus fields that the energy creates as it bursts out of the liquid. And then it strings it like suns on a string throughout the whole length of this one mile tube. So there was liquid in there. Then there was an atmosphere and then there was a vacuum. That's action and reaction. So that's what's forcing itself on our planet. Our planet has an EM field which is holding, pushes things out, but it's also holding the atmosphere in. The uh, vacuum pressure of the universe is trying to pull on our atmosphere. And so this is the energy, um, uh, what's the word? Deprivation, not deprivation, uh, when there isn't any, it's been deprived of energy. When there's an energy, it, something as a space has been deprived of energy, it will try and pull as much energy into it. And so to think that a rocket could fill space at a certain speed because they think, oh, well, our thrust is this fast and it's this much pressure. Well, the universe is massively, massively pulling more back on that. So it will empty a rocket without a rocket going anywhere once you're in interstellar space. So again, the reaction of the universe to your thrust will be exactly the same amount. It will never gain any thrust because there is an equal and opposite reaction. That means it's equal to the thrust that you think you're putting out. It's pulling it out just as fast. The vacuum is equal to the fuel thrust, action and reaction. They're both the same, remember? So 
anything coming out the back of a rocket in a perfect vacuum will get pulled out as fast as it is emptying. That's action and reaction. There's an equal and opposite reaction. So if there is no matter to push against, then it's just going to empty because the vacuum is equal to the thrust. Things get slingshot around planets. That's how they send things into further into deep space. It's got nothing to do with rockets. So there we go. That's the action and reaction that everybody's looking for where you're saying that, oh, no, the reaction of moving in space is due to firing the rocket and it building on itself. It doesn't need oxygen because it's carrying its own. All these kind of things is a false analogy. The whole universe is a ball of energy that has been pulled apart and now it's all in sunstrings. That's the electric universe theory explained right there. And where the energy was pulled apart from other energy, there is now a vacuum there. So if it can pull apart suns, you think it can't pull all the fuel out of a rocket without it moving anywhere. So the reaction of pulling energy apart creates a reaction that is trying to pull that energy back. So you thinking your three and a half million kilograms per cubic centimetre rocket is actually going to go anywhere is a bit of a joke. It's going to be emptied as fast as it comes out, no matter how fast it comes out. And that's Newton's third law of action and reaction. So you might empty something, but it'll get pulled away due to the reaction of the universe, which is devoid of energy. And so what everybody has gotten wrong is the fact that there is already a reaction waiting to happen. It's why we have an atmosphere. The vacuum of space is pulling on the, vacu on the atmosphere and raising it up along with the EM field. This is the expansion and reaction of energy and space and matter. The reaction has been going on since the beginning of the universe. So you think in your little action is going to change this huge reaction which is already happening is again a false analogy the action was pulling the universe apart the reaction is it trying to pull energy to fill all the space so you put in anything in there that you think will fill that space it better have enough energy to fill the entire universe because the reaction of space is to empty that rocket thanks very much my name is lee i'll follow the christ and uh, I'm just trying to explain things as we go along. Thanks very much. Bye.